What's up gamers? Welcome back to the channel. Playing Fallout 76. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. We're sitting here playing. Got our new skin on. Man, I'm really digging this. I like the lights going around the shoulder. Like I'm a police officer or a rescue vehicle or a fire department. I don't know. It just looks awesome. I love that you can change the ex excavator power armor suit now. Get a different skin. This thing is just looking really cool. Um, if you remember in our last episode, we were over there that way, right behind me, trying to find a wolf or uh, the low, which would be a sheep. Um, another name for a sheep is a low. Uh, but the lowdown was the last part of the quest that we did. Now we're doing the wolf in sheep's clothing. And like I said, we're just outside the city, and we need to head over here. Whoop, let me pull up my map quick. Uh, we need to head right down here to the Greyhand Estate and... Man, we got to be getting close to the end of this, man. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, so uh, like I said, I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. It's a beautiful day out today. Uh, about 40 degrees here in Michigan. Hope you guys are all staying safe. Yeah, you know, we got that pandemic going on. But that doesn't mean we can't play a few video games, you know? Perfect thing to do when you're stuck inside and you got nothing else to do, I guess. You can't go outside, can't go to the store, can't interact with people but you can always play a video game always something to fall back on so yeah we're heading down here we're gonna do the wolf in sheep's clothing today I don't know how long this is gonna take I figure we're towards the end of this mission uh, but I thought that about two episodes ago so who knows from this point uh, we're then going to go find the rest of the mysterious map fragments got my axe out and then after that we got I think we got to find some like mysterious packages too um, but we'll have to wait and see there's a pawn shop just outside of Grafton that we're gonna need to go to after we get all of the all right we're going upstairs after we get all of the mysterious map fragments so we can go put them on the board and see what that's gonna show us pack of cigarettes is there anything else underneath there no oh we do need that plastic but I'm not gonna worry about it right now Right now, I just want to kind of see what's going on. Looks like we're going to go upstairs here. How do we get in there? We've got the ID card already. Perfect. We don't have to find that. Okay, we're in here. Just hit the up button. Level 2 or level 3? I guess we're going to go to level 2 first. Might as well. Start at the bottom, work our way up. But yeah, we got to go to the pawn shop drop off those mysterious map, map fragments and then I think we need to find oh come on why can, can we open this now open door man what's going on here activate door there we go so anyway I was saying we need to find like uh... oh scare the crap out of me we need to find some mysterious packages too along with the mysterious map fragments and it's supposed to give us a location for the wastelanders DLC when that comes out it's supposed to give us a location to where we need to be and yeah I'm looking forward to that man looking forward to that wastelanders we, we, we really need that in this round or in this game here because um, it's gonna add in the voices of NPCs and it's just something that needs to go to this game it's like when you play Fallout 76 or when you play any Fallout to tell you the truth the interaction with the NPCs was always the best part of it uh, what are we looking for here looks like we still need to go up because we need to yeah find wolf so let's go up because it's kinda telling me to come back into the the elevator here go up to the third floor but yeah, the interaction with the, the NPCs has always been the best part of the game and, and the different stories and stuff it tells and, and the way that they talk to you and um it's getting added in. And that's supposed to No, I hit the wrong button. Crap, I wanted to open the door. But uh yeah, it, it it's just gonna add another layer of of fun, I think, to the game and gotta tell you, you know, after a while you kinda do the same stuff over and over and over again and it's very repetitive. Well, how did you get in? What are you guys? Oh my god. How did you guys get in this elevator? 
crazy, man. Crazy. But it's going to add another layer of, of fun, I think, to the game. Grab some of those, too. When uh, you actually have the inter interaction with, with the NPCs and, and the different things that you can do with that. I'm, I'm really interested to see how they work that out. And I, I guarantee there's going to be bugs. And there's always bugs and, and different ex exploits and stuff they're going to need to patch. But I think uh, just the addition of that is going to make it a lot better. Holy cow, man. There's tons of you guys. Good thing you're not very strong. Alright, so it's telling me I need to go this way. we got to search for traces of Wolf. I wonder if Wolf is one of these nasty guys. I wonder if he turned into a, a zombie type scorch guy. I mean, are you upstairs? It's got to be upstairs. There's not really anything here, so. Yeah, oh, oh, there it is. We see it, we see it. We gotta get up there. Let's see if we can't find something that gets us. What is that noise? Did you hear that? Oh my goodness, what is that noise? It's above me. It's like a grunt and a scratch. And it sounds like something walking too. It's got to be. Is it the sheep squatch? It's got to be the sheep squatch, man. Oh, I... do you hear it? Oh my goodness! It's kind of giving me the chills. I got chills. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a Wendingo. Oh, alright. Well, we're not too worried about a Wendingo. Ouch. He does hit hard though, doesn't he? Killing a glowy wind creature. Oh. Hey. That's cool. Anything good in here? Night vision, combat sniper rifle. Ooh, that sounds pretty cool. So let's grab these Wendingo teeth and stuff. That should be good. Uh, didn't do too much damage to us, but yeah, man, that thing sounded crazy when I was right below it. We're not going to do any searching, I don't think. Um, I do like doing a lot of scavenging, but right now we got to continue on. Uh, there's some fuel cells. We might take those, though. Alright, here we go. Let's use this terminal and see if we can find traces of wolf. Personal logs for Alan. Home sweet home. I'm not going to read through it. New security measures. I'm not going to read through it. A fortunate encounter. Nope, not going to read through it. Emergency check-in. Here we go. Headquarters, Wolf here. I secured some devices from Cannery that should help. I hear using them will be painful, though. Very risky solo, but the other agents haven't arrived. I'm not waiting any longer. Going to set up the capture site in the hills northwest of Lewisburg. Should have the AWOL unit back in no time. Uh, but just in case, I'm leaving a spare key and plans nearby. Check the wagon at the Granins, send another agent to pick them up if it comes to it wolf out alright so we gotta go to the wagon and get the cachet which is gonna be right here oh look at that activate the cachet here we go Quest completed. Wolf's and sheep or wolf in sheep's clothing is now done. Uh, what's next? Coffee cans, ball peen hammers. Got the fixer. I wonder what that is. There's a cloaking metal chess piece. Being hit with the melee makes us invisible. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, search for a wolf's trap site. So the next thing we got to do is find wolf's trap site. And it looks like it wants us to leave. If we take a look at our 
map here. Where is it telling me to go? So just outside of Lewisburg. And I think Lewisburg is actually north. Um, but I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've scurried the map. So where are you, Lewisburg? How about to the east? Lewisburg in the east? The northeast? Hmm, maybe it's not going to show up until I get out of... Until I get out of, uh, this place. And the best way to get out of this place, I think, is the dropout. Alright, here's the question. Here is the question. If I jump off this big tower, will it kill me in a power armor suit? Oh, man. You know what? We're going to give it a try for science. For science. Uh, let's see if we can't... In case we do die. Have, like, some bearing of where... Actually, we probably... Ah! Never mind. <laughs> uh, well, that wasn't too far, but I think we're kind of stuck now. Uh, we're going to have to fall. But I want to have, like, a point of reference. If we land right here by these things, that's what we're going to aim for. I don't know what that is down there, but that's what we're aiming for. So, if we do die, at least we'll have an idea of where our stuff is. Ah! Ah! Ugh! Nope, no big deal. We're good. We're good. <laughs> oh, man. What a far fall. Anyway, why is it telling me to go back in there? We need to search for Wolf's trap site. But I don't think there's anything left to find in that place. So I'm not sure why they want us to... Okay, now, it, now it's reset. And we need to go to Lewisburg. And I think Lewisburg is to the north. Um, let's take a look here. Where you at, Lewisburg? How far up are you? Ooh, that's too far up. <laughs> Zoom in. Oh, right there. Right there we are. There's a wolf trap site and the pylon ambush site. Uh-oh. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but we're going to head there, and I'll be our bees. All right, we're here outside of Lewisburg. Whoop, let me take a look here. We can show our map. I think this is Lewisburg here, right? No, it's not. Hmm. Is that Lewisburg? Where's Lewisburg? Charlton. Is this Lewisburg? There we go. We're just outside of Lewisburg to the northwest at this little place called the Pylon Ambush Site. And I'm not sure if we're going to get ambushed, but we got our axe out here and we're ready to go. Oh, that looks like a glowy thing. And he's walking. Feral ghouls. This is not looking good. We are set up in this area. Do you see me? No, you can't see me, can you? You know what? We're going to see if we can't put on something a little bit harder hitting. Our all rise, level 50. Little 50. We're going to come in here and we're going to blow up these glowy ghouls and feral ghouls and all that stuff. It's a, oh, it's a legendary. Get him. Oh, man. Got him. There's so many feral ghouls, but we're going to take them down. They're not, nothing, nothing compared to our all rise, man. I saw that you had a whole bunch of stuff, though. Comex, wow, look at this thing. Would you stop floating so I can grab your stuff? Toxic water. Comex. Come back here. We're taking all that, because I don't know. If we're gonna need it or not. What do you guys got, man? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Some duct tape. I actually might take that duct tape. You never know when you need duct tape for anything you need to repair. Uh, where is the glowy dude now? Here we are. What you got for me? Two shot gauze rifle. Uh, okay, we're gonna take that treasure map. I like treasure maps. We're not going to worry about the... Well, you know what? We're going to take it. Because I don't think I have any. Here's some gunpowder and some lead scrap. Uh, the rest of the stuff can get out of here. Two-shot gauze rifle. Hmm. I wonder how that's going to be. But we're here at this little cabin. That looks like it should be uh, a nice container for ammo and stuff, but apparently not. 
See if we can't find our way in and see what's going on inside, man. Here we go. Here's our door. Um, it looks like it's pretty messed up. Here's a dead body on the floor. But the body's hit the floor. Uh, anything else? We have some wood. We have a tinkerer's workbench. I don't see any signs of a, a sheep squatch. Some dirty water. We don't need those. How about some Cajun rice and beans? We'll take that. You never know when you're going to need some food. Here's some instant mash. We're going to take that. There's some detective case files. Can we take a look at them? Oh, we just took them, huh? Okay. There's some canned coffee. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the coffee. I don't really drink the coffee. A radio jammer. We'll take the radio jammer. Whatever that does. Here's a battery. We're going to take that battery. Come here. Come here, makeshift battery. What do we got in here? A tall flask. Nothing. All right, we took a look around. Looks like we've got pretty much everything that we want, so we're going to head in here to the Tinkerer's workbench. Let's do a scrap all quick just to reduce some of the weight. And now let's check out this, uh, what is it? Beishi Remote Robotic Terminal. So let's access. Doesn't look like it's anything. Uh, capture procedure. There we go. This is probably what we need. Headquarters, this is Wolf, about to attempt recall and capture of AWOL unit. As noted earlier, this is a very dangerous operation, leaving a log of the procedure in case attempt is failure. Uh, I'm going to dispense with the brevity here. This is important. The unit is equipped with shielding technology that protects it from all manner of weapons. To disable this shield, agents will have to use the pylons I've acquired. Activating a pylon makes it user makes its user a conduit channeling a high voltage through the user to the target. Only all three pylons combined have enough voltage to disable the target shield. This is very stressful on the body. Painful, but it's the only way. If I don't make it, good luck to the next of you. Wolf out. Okay. Unlock the recall system. Unlocking the system requires an Assaultron recall card key. This is a one-time use and cannot be returned. Once unlocked, the system remains accessible for a limited period of time during which preparations must be made. It is user's responsibility to initiate Assaultron recall during this time. Do we have one? We do have one. Okay, uh, it says right here to use this control to, to recall the robot. Is that what it says? But I already did the robot recall, so I'm not entirely sure what needs to be done now. Initiate. Signal sent. Completed. The recall robot approaches. Uh-oh. This could be bad. This could be really bad. Now, there's going to be... What, three pylons that I need to find? Ouch. Oh, dang. Something just blew up big time. It scared the crap out of me. What is that? Holy cow. Mr. Gutsy, get out of here. Jeez. It's like someone's shooting like rockets at me. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm out of here. Get in the building. 
Get in the building. Heal up. Ooh, buddy. Holy cow. Oh, man. Activate the pylons. I need to activate all three. Here's the thing. There's a ton of robots around me. Legendary sheep squash imposter. Ah! Get out of here. Oh, you killed me. I'm down. Oh, my goodness. Here we're going with the respawn. <laughs> Hopefully they put me, like, right here. Uh, this may be something that may be a little bit too difficult for one person. But we're going to give it a go. All right, so let's go. Let's just run to these pylons. Well, I guess I didn't need to hit that. Uh, we got to activate all these pylons, and then we got to take this guy out. How do we activate the pylon? We need a runner here. Activate, activate. Come a conduit. Boom. We got to activate all of these. Ow. Really, dude? Holy cow. Let's give up. Let's try again. Dude, that guy just wrecked me like quick, fast, and in a hurry. Immediately, if not sooner. <laughs> I don't think there's much else that I could have done. Holy shit. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. You can hear him. Alright, activate quick. Come a conduit. No, no. No, 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 no. Stop it. Leave me alone. I'm all out of stamina. Oh, it's over for me. There he is right there. Ah! Ugh. No. No, dude. Yeah, this is a little bit too hard for me, man. Doing this, trying to do this solo. Um, I'm going to have to wait for someone else to help me. But this is what you got to do. Let's give up. I'm going to try one more time just to inactivate and see if I can't get a hit on him. Uh, maybe if it's just a matter of one getting activated and giving him a hit, or if I have to hit all three, there's no way I can do it. Um, let's see if we can't just at activate one and then see if we can't get a hit on him. Okay, we're a conduit. And we're down. I don't think we're actually doing any damage to him. And I can't see him. Can we get up? Get up. We got full HP. No. Whoa, look at us go. <laughs> this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. It's cool, though. I'm glad that there's something like this in here. Um, this just might be something that I'm going to have to do outside of the private world that I'm in. Uh, that I just don't see this happening um, by myself. Which means I'll probably have to get myself another card. Which is not a big deal. Let's grab this, become a conduit. I just want to see if we can get one hit on him. And it's not looking like we're going to be able to. Yeah, it's not looking like it's doing anything. And I'm pretty sure we were hitting him. But that's cool. We know now, but uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode and seeing me get my butt kicked left and right by this Sheep Squatch. Uh, I'm going to have to get on to a public server and end up finishing this up. Um, but I'll see you guys all in the next one. Take it easy, peeps. What's up, gamers? I wanted to give a quick update on what's going on with this Sheep Squatch. Um, Assaultron, Imposter, whatever you want to call it. Uh, mission that I was on. See, the thing is, I think it's impossible to do with one person, so I'm not going to be able to finish this unless I get lucky and jump into a public server and finish it off. Uh, if I do, I'll end up posting it, but uh, right now it doesn't look like I'll be able to do that, especially as a solo player, because for one, what you have to do is you have to, these beacons right here, uh, there's three of them, and you have to hit all three of them in order to drop the shield on the Assault Tron Sheep Squatch. Uh, while doing that, the people that touch one of the conduits 
uh, they start losing life. They, they, it continually damages you until you die. Um, if you can't keep your stim packs up and your health up or, or whatever it is, but uh, one person is not going to be able to be the conduit for all three. You're going to need probably three people, one per conduit, and each one of them have to keep their health up the whole time you fight the, sea, the, the sheep squatch, and it's just not going to work with the one person. Um, if you're continually getting damaged and you've seen how fast he just melts people to begin with, uh, I don't think... You know, I, I could optimize my loadout just a, a little bit, I would guess, to reduce some of the damage taken from robots and whatnot. Uh, but for the most part, I think I got a pretty good loadout, especially for damage dealing. But there's no way I can be the conduit for for three of these pylons, keep my health up, and fight the sheep squatch at the same time. It's just not going to happen. Uh, so, like I said, I'm hoping I'll be able to jump into a public server and be able to take this boss down and if I do I'll end up posting um, the fight and whatnot but for right now it looks like this one's gonna get put on the back burner at least till maybe the 14th when the Wastelanders DLC drops and maybe some people will come back to uh, the game and and we'll be able to get this finished up but uh, yeah for now I guess this is gonna go on the back burner man and uh, thanks guys for watching that's gonna be it for today take it easy